Okay, so today I'm going to make two glass flowers. And this is all glass that I bought at thrift stores and Goodwill. I found this one the other day and it was less than $5 because it looked like I got some cracks in it and uh, it was glued back together. So that'll work perfect for me. It's really heavy. And I've got a little pie plate. I'm going to glue on the back of this. I'll show you. And then this is going to go in there. Isn't that pretty? And I'm going to make a small flower. I thought this was a good shape for a flower. This is a really heavy glass. And this fluorescent pink dish. Isn't that pretty? That's going to go in the middle here. And then I've got this little candle holder. And for the stamens, I'm going to use beads this time. These are beads that I bought at um, Joanne Fabric and Crafts. Uh, they had to sale for five for ten dollars so I got these two for other projects but I'm going to use the um, pink and yellow and the yellow for these got these clippers and I'm going to use wire uh, I got this at Joanne Fabric too I think I'm going to use gold for this one there's gold and copper and I'm going to use um, JB Weld clear epoxy so all right so I'm going to get started Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this wire into long pieces for the stamens. Do some really long ones for this right here. And then I'm going to put some in here too for the smaller flower. So I'm going to cut. Okay, so I cut six stamens for each one. This is for the big one. And this is for the little one. And I'm going to cut these beads apart. Here's all the beads. Okay, so now I'm going to glue the beads onto the stamens. So the pink ones are going to go on the short ones. Now that's a little bit loose. So I'm going to use a little bit of um, Sculpey clay, or you can use putty, to put in the end there just to hold it in place while I glue it. So this is what I keep handy all the time. I use Sculpey clay all the time. It's white. So I'll just use a little piece like this and um, put it in the end. The hole is like that. And then put the stamen in there. And that'll hold it in place just until I get the glue on. So I'll do I'll put the beads on all these right now. So here are the stamens with the beads on the ends. And now I'm gonna glue these on with epoxy. Okay, so first I'm gonna mix the epoxy in a little cup. Just put as much as I need. Mix it. Okay. And then I'm just going to drip the epoxy onto the bead. Like this. I'm going to cover the whole thing. And then I'll put it in this foam here to dry. Okay, so here are the beads with epoxy. I covered the whole beads because they're plastic and I think having epoxy cover the whole thing will make them last longer. So I'll let those dry.
Okay, so for this big flower, this only has um, like feet on them, so it only touches on these three corners. Um, so I'm going to use a hockey puck to put these on a pole, and the hockey puck won't cover all of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it to a little pie plate so that it'll be real sturdy on the back. So it'll be like that. And then I'll have a flat back to put that hockey puck on. Okay, so I'm going to glue this. And then I'll let that dry. Okay, I'm also going to go ahead and glue this one in the middle. It's going to go right here like that. So I'll go ahead and glue that. Okay. Okay, this one is really simple. So it's going to be small. I'm going to glue this one in the middle first, like that. Okay, and then I'm going to glue that for the middle. Put this glue on there. So I'll let all these pieces dry overnight and then work on the rest tomorrow. Okay. So these dried overnight and um, now I'm going to glue the hockey puck on the back and that's what's going to hold it on the rebar. I have rebar that I painted green. And I had these hockey pucks drilled with a hole in it. I had my neighbor. If you take a look at my previous glass flower videos, you can see my neighbor Larry drilling these for me. Here's a short clip. So I had half inch holes drilled into these and then the rebar is 3 8 inch so that fits right on here. I glue that to the back of the glass and uh, that holds really well with epoxy. I've also used glass bottles to attach to the back of the flowers um, to put on a pole and uh, here's a short clip of that. So these are some of the first flowers I made and I used bottles to attach it to the pole on the back I'll show you. I used these little malt bottles and I used epoxy and I slid it over a half inch conduit pole which works really well and then I put some filler inside just to hold it steady 
so that's working out really well too. Did the same to this one. Okay, so I'm going to put the hockey puck on the back of this one first. I'm going to make sure that this is the bottom of the flower. So I, I need to put the hole in the right place here. It's going to go like this. So I'll put epoxy on the back. Okay, that was sliding around, so I put tape on it, and then I'll let that set up for just a few minutes. And then I'll do this one. Flip that over. Let's see, I'll make it so this is the bottom. I'm going like this. Okay, I'll let these set up for about five minutes and then I'll flip them over. Okay, these have set up enough to where I flipped them over. And I'm going to put the stamens in now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Sculpey clay. I put it into a ball, and this is just going to hold the stamens in place until the epoxy dries. See, it's going to go in here like this. Put it in the bottom. So I'm going to stick this in the bottom of the, the vase. Drop it in there. Okay, I just made sure it was centered. Now I'm going to put these in here. See how that works. Oop. Well, after I get them glued in there, I can move them around because it's wire. So as long as it's sitting in the bottom, like that. I'm going to put glue on that in a minute. And then this, this one. This will be the same. Got the clay ball, put it in the bottom. Okay, so I have the epoxy in here. See it's all in the bottom. So that should hold it all together. I'll let it dry overnight. And then I can adjust these wires. What are you doing? <laughs> and this one's the same. I have epoxy in the bottom. Alright. 
so I'll just let that dry. Okay, so I let these dry overnight, and then I move these wires so that they're all standing up, the stamens. I did the same for this one. Everything's dry, and I took the tape off the back that was holding the hockey puck on. So I'm going to go put these outside on the rebar and see how they look. So here they are outside in the sunlight. They look really pretty. The colors in the sun, they just sparkle. Look at that. I just really love these colors. And there's a hockey puck holding it up on the rebar. And this one. Yeah, I like the depth of them too. Look at that. Wow. The stamens look nice on here too. I'm real happy with these. So tell me what you think. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.